Sister wants me to adopt her baby, who she has promised to our abusive parents. I already have twins. Is this a good idea? I have three-month-old twin girls. I have been no contact with my parents for a decade, due to them being highly abusive and kicking me out as a teen. I am not letting them meet my kids because of this. My sister is three months pregnant. She lives with our parents, and says she intends to continue doing this as she doesn't want to raise a child, but they want a grandchild, so the idea is they would all live together and my parents would raise the child while my sister was only the mother on paper. I called my sister to work out a way to get the baby away from our parents. She said if I want to take the baby, she will allow a legal adoption, but that's the only other option she will consider. The bio father is not going to be involved, so he doesn't factor in here. I have the money to take in a third child, and with a bit of adjusting I could make the room. I can extend my maternity leave to a full year, it's meant to end soon, meaning that when the newborn arrives I would have three months left of my leave to get settled. I am a single mother, but I have a strong network of friends to help and my job has been very good with me taking leave and my work entitles me to free childcare. Would pursuing the adoption be a good idea? What would potentially having nine-month-old twins and a newborn at the same time look like? Would being so close in age affect the kids growing up? Sorry if this is the wrong place to ask this, but it seemed like the most logical forum to go to. Update 1. I posted this elsewhere but someone directed me here so I hope this is okay. I have three-month-old twins and my sister is three months pregnant. She wants me to adopt her child, meaning that when my twins are nine months old, I may be adopting her newborn, giving me three under one. The three-month-olds are doing well. We got off to a shaky start, but they're currently sleeping four to five hours straight, so I'm hoping they'll be sleeping through the night soon, and haven't had any serious issues despite being slightly premature, couple weeks. I've arranged childcare for when I go back to work. I'm meant to go back soon, but I can either extend my maternity leave to a full year, meaning that I'll be off for six months, then the newborn comes, then I'll have another three months to adjust, or I can go back for five to six months and then take a second round of leave when the new baby comes. Which sounds best? I have a three-bedroom flat, and the plan was that as the girls got older, they would get a bedroom each, but if I brought in a third child, what would be the setup? Could they share a room? How long for? Would I need to get a bigger place right away or could I hold off until I have a little more in the bank? I really want to take my sister's kid in, as it's the only way to keep them safe, but I don't know if having three babies on my hands at once is the best idea, particularly when I'm a single parent. Could anyone in a similar position give me a better idea of what three under one would look like? I think I'm doing pretty well with two but a third child who is nine months younger than the others doesn't sound easy, to say the least. Any advice, or opinion, is appreciated. Thanks. Update 2. I'm adopting my sister's son. He was born eight days ago, but he's over two months premature. Closer to three. The birth was meant to be natural but ended up a C-section due to complications, but the C-section was still routine with no issues. Doctor said it went as well as it could have overall. The doctor wanted to keep my son for a bit longer because he's just so early and they want to be positive it's safe before I take him home. However, because I can't begin the formal adoption for a few weeks still, and with the you know what restricting visitors, this means I can't even visit him. I would post a pic here but I don't even have a picture to show you. I've only seen him once, immediately after the birth. My sister is allowed to see him as the birth mother but she's only been once. I was meant to be able to take him home yesterday but they asked to keep him longer and run a few more tests. I'm either getting no information or incredibly limited info because despite being his mother and him coming to live with me once he's released, because it isn't on paper yet and I didn't birth him, they're not allowed to give me the same information that my sister is getting. I'm angry and frustrated and tired and anxious and while my partners are trying to calm me, it's not working. I just want him home. I'm a single-ish mother of three, twin baby girls, and a son who is currently in hospital, he's fine, just very premature, so they can't release him into my care yet.